Hey kids! Before I answer the living as an atheist tag, I want to first announce that I will be participating in the annual MSF Doctors Without Borders charity event this weekend. For those of you who are unfamiliar with MSF, they provide medical assistance to countries that are ravaged by violence or natural disasters or exclusion from healthcare. So it is a very, very good organization to contribute to. I will be hosting on Sunday, September 9th at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is 1 p.m. UK time. It's a bit early for Sunday morning, but I'll be up then anyway because I'll be working in my lovely Deschel 2's restaurant, the Flying Monkey Cafe and Deli, which is finally open. For the charity, I will be auctioning off one of our beautiful Monkey Evolution t-shirts signed by me and Def Shell 2. Just so you know, this is not necessarily the shirt we'll be auctioning off. It will be the same design, but uh, it will be it could be any size, depending on who actually wins and what they want. This, uh, for the record, this is a size medium. We have small and large, extra large, XXL, stuff like that. And uh, we it also comes in white with black uh, designing, or also black with yellow design or white with yellow design. So again, that will be up to the preference of the auction bidding winner. So please, please tune in to Blog TV this weekend and donate to this magnificent cause. And if you're ever passing through North Jersey, stop in and visit us in sunny, beautiful Vernon, New Jersey. You give us some money, we'll give you some food. Now that that's done, let's get into these questions. Zoma so got its Chris. Tag me to answer a questionnaire submitted by Jerome Baggett of the Jesuit School of Theology in Berkeley to describe my insight as an atheist in a world of theists. Were you raised atheist or did you have a religious upbringing of some sort? I find the wording of this first question to be a little weird. While I certainly was not raised with any sort of religious upbringing, I wouldn't describe it as an actively atheistic upbringing either. It was definitely irreligious. Mine was a secular household, and the subjects of religion were simply non-issues that occasionally came up in conversation. Both of my parents are non-believers, and I was raised almost exclusively by a strong anti-theist atheist, but he didn't emphasize his non-belief while I was growing up, and that's because it was very important to him that I figure these things out on my own without being indoctrinated into any ideology. If raised atheist, have you ever been drawn to religion at any point in your life? Why or why not? As a teenager, I first became interested in the subject of the world's religions and spirituality. This interest became stronger when I entered adulthood, but I never adopted any of them, if that's what you're asking. I think it is common for people to search for some kind of affinity and belonging with groups, and there is a certain comfort to believe that there are definitive answers to life's irritating little quirks, and I certainly was no different when I was coming up. But somehow, religion's tendencies to incorporate magical thinking and non-answers stuck with rhetoric always killed it for me. Magic don't real, and neither do gods. Do you identify yourself as an atheist? Yes. If so, what does being an atheist mean to you? I'm going to do my best to avoid puerile, dictionarist type arguments that never go anywhere. When I use the term atheist, I'm always referring to an active, thinking atheist who has come to his or her position after consideration. I acknowledge that the term can refer to a default tabula rasa-like position of having no concept of gods in which to believe, the all babies are atheists kind of definition, but in my opinion that has little if any value to anything outside the counter argument to the assertion that a god is written into the hearts and minds of all people or something silly like that. And how does it feel to be an atheist? Optimistic, pessimistic, hopeful, cynical, happy, sad, connected to, isolated from other people, etc. Since I've never been a theist, I don't really have anything to compare how it feels to be an atheist to anything else. 
nor do I believe that either position would have someone be more inclined to feel hopeful or pessimistic about life in general. Like everyone else, I have very good days when I'm upbeat and happy to be alive. And, and then there are days when I hate everyone and everything. I've always been an introvert, which makes it harder for me to feel connected to other people, but that has nothing to do with my atheism. Why do you think most people in the United States believe in God, practice some form of religion, and do not identify themselves as atheists? Most people in this country have been indoctrinated to believe in gods and to adopt their family's religions. I think it's something so ingrained into their mentality that they never even consider to critically examine such beliefs. Even intelligent people who are otherwise skeptical of many claims of the paranormal and supernatural have not been encouraged to employ the same amount of skepticism towards spirituality and theism. Furthermore, it appears that there is still a lot of negative connotations associated with the term atheist, and I really don't understand why. We're not the Red Scare generation, and anyone who still assumes that non-belief leads to immorality only needs to take a gander at their clergy, the prison population, and the GOP to debunk that notion. Do most people who know you, family, friends, co-workers, etc., also know that you're an atheist? Why or why not? Pretty much everyone who knows me knows that I'm an atheist. It's not that I announce it to every single person I meet, it just seems to come up in conversation a lot. Plus, a lot of folks know about my YouTube channel as well. Are most of your friends atheists? Why or why not? Most of my friends live in my computer. I don't really have much of a circle of friends in my daily life. And the people I talk to most often are atheists because they tend to be people I've met during my time as a YouTuber. Have you ever been treated differently by people because you're an atheist? If so, please describe this in detail. To be honest, not really, and maybe this is due to the fact that I haven't put myself in positions in which I could expect to be treated differently for that aspect alone. Overall, would you say that other people's belief in God is a good thing, a bad thing, or something you're indifferent about? Why? It really all depends on the person in question. I consider most beliefs in the supernatural to be innocuous, yet unproductive. But there's certainly those in this country who take their beliefs to extremes and will reject science, medical progress, and basic human equalities based solely on whatever deity they worship claims to be for or against. That's when God belief becomes a problem for everyone. Overall, would you say that organized religion is a good thing, a bad thing, or something you're indifferent about? Why? Organized religion seems to be losing popularity across the board even among some theists. The way I see it, most organized religions contribute nothing these days but emotional blackmail, wholesale ignorance, and relieving gullible and often desperate people from their money. We could certainly do without them. If not a religious person, do you consider yourself to be a spiritual person? Why or why not? That really depends on what it means to be spiritual, which is a word I'm not really all that comfortable with. It always invokes images of New Age nonsense in my head. I obviously don't believe in the existence of actual spirits or souls. What people pinpoint as the soul or essence of a person is really just the mind, which is solely a function of the brain. But we humans have very complex brains, which shoot off very complex emotions. And these emotions play a huge part in our general health and well-being. That's why I prefer to live in a quieter, more rural community rather than the gray, clamoring, concrete city where I work. I like being surrounded by more natural settings and landscapes. I like the mountains and I enjoy watching sunrises and sunsets. I like watching mist rise from the reservoir early in the morning. And I love being able to see all the stars and planets in the night sky. So if revering nature is the last vestige of spirituality, without mixing in needless supernatural hooey? Well, then I could qualify for that. Many people say that belief in God provides a foundation for their morality. As an atheist, on what do you base your morality? How do you decide what things are good or bad, whether you're behaving rightly or wrongly, etc.? People who claim that their God of choice is the foundation of their morality usually can't answer for the examples cited in their holy books, which are clearly immoral by any standard of human history, 
including, but not limited to, slavery, sexual slavery, genocide, and summary executions for adultery, apostasy, homosexuality, and the exercise of free speech. So what do I base my morality upon? The same as everyone else. Morals come from us. We decide what is ethical and under what circumstances. And distinguishing good from bad is generally situational and based upon whether or not harm and suffering is caused or alleviated. Many people consider belief in God and religious practice to be essential for raising well-rounded children with a connection to a tradition that helps them to see meaning in the world. What's your opinion about this viewpoint? Simply put, that's a load of crap and completely unsubstantiated. Again, the fundamentalists have already demonstrated that indoctrination is essential for raising ignorant, lock-stepping, hypocritical mutants who are devoid of compassion and understanding of anybody who doesn't fall in line. Finding meaning in the world and in oneself cannot be taught or dictated from authority. It is something that people discover on their own, if they do so at all. But any meaning that is built upon the foundation of myth and superstition can't survive its own scrutiny, and as such it collapses. Wanting to keep to old traditions may be appealing to those who think that this is the only way to preserve their people's history and culture, but it is also traditional that the times and cultures change. For many people, belief in God provides an explanation of how the world came into existence and why we're here. As an atheist, do you have answers or insights pertaining to these questions? If so, what are they? As an atheist, I encourage everyone to forget mythology and embrace reality when reviewing questions of the origins of the universe. I don't have the qualifications to explain science to anyone, but I can definitely say for certainty that you won't find any factual information regarding these subjects in ancient religious texts. You just won't. As to why we're here, it's pretty simple. Our kind, like every other living organism, evolved from previous organisms, and ours is a successful species that has thrived and multiplied like crazy. Looking for a cosmic root to our existence is silly and futile, and I don't need such imaginings to find meaning in my own life. For many people, belief in God provides hope or comfort with respect to suffering in the world, and to the inevitability of death. As an atheist, how do you come to terms with these things? There's nothing to come to terms with. Suffering and death are unfortunate and inevitable aspects of life, and I will spend all the days of my life doing everything I can to avoid both. And I fear death and suffering like every other creature that scurries upon the surface of the earth. But I'm not the one who was promised deliverance from evil, and that through prayer all things are possible, and I was never convinced that when people die they're not really dead, they just went to go live in the sky with Jesus and the angels. And I was never sold on the idea that there is a loving creator that allows all these horrible things to happen. And since I was never promised these things, I have nothing to reconcile, nothing from which to come to terms. As an atheist, I seek comfort in times of despair from things that are actually real, like other people. And while choosing to believe in such fantastical notions may bring some comfort to those who are bereaved or suffering, I would imagine that it would be better to have the source of their comfort from something that isn't artificial. Anyway, that's just my opinion. Get thee to the charity event this weekend and bid on this uh, lovely shirt or something like it. And then donate some more because it is an important event. And that's all for now.